What if the threat driving an aggressive cancer isn't in your uterus at all, but in how active your visceral fat is right now? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're examining how metabolically active visceral fat can fuel inflammation, distort hormones, and raise the risk of aggressive endometrial cancer, why activity matters more than amount, and what daily actions help calm this fat. I'm Alara Skye. We'll lay out what the new findings mean for you, how visceral fat behaves like a signaling organ, and the specific steps in the article that aim to quiet inflammatory fat, stabilize metabolism, and support resilience. Most people think more fat equals more risk, but the shift here is about behavior. Imaging work in women with endometrial cancer found that higher glucose uptake in visceral fat tracked with more advanced disease and lymph node spread. That means the most important question isn't, how much fat do you have, but how overactive is it? That distinction explains why two women with similar body size can have very different outcomes. If your visceral fat is inflamed and metabolically hot, it releases cytokines, fatty acids, and other signals that push your system toward chronic inflammation, immune suppression, and faster tumor growth. This fat-driven inflammation also ties directly to insulin resistance. When your cells stop responding to insulin, glucose and insulin stay high in your blood, and that surplus becomes steady fuel for tumors. The biology favors disease when fat behaves like this. You can influence that behavior. The article makes it clear that fat metabolism is not fixed. Lifestyle choices can dial down inflammatory activity, restore healthier signaling, and create an internal environment less favorable to cancer. Start by eliminating seed oils. Vegetable and seed oils such as soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, rapeseed, cottonseed, grapeseed, rice bran, and peanut oil. Keep your visceral fat bathed in linoleic acid that oxidizes easily and drives toxic byproducts. Replacing them with stable fats like tallow, ghee, or butter is a central step called out in the article. Next, support mitochondria with appropriate carbohydrates. The guidance here is precise. Carbs aren't the enemy. Using the right ones at the right time helps restore energy balance. Begin with easy-to-digest options like ripe fruit and white rice. As your gut steadies, add root vegetables, then legumes, and later whole grains. Avoid ultra-processed carbs. The article advises aiming for about 250 grams of healthy carbohydrates per day to support metabolism. If your gut is irritated, hold off on high-fiber foods until digestion improves. The article notes that excess fiber in a damaged microbiome feeds harmful bacteria and endotoxin production which further stalls energy and inflames fat. Lower exposure to estrogenic and endocrine-disrupting chemicals. Practical steps include avoiding plastics for food and drink, not heating food in plastic, minimizing contact with receipts, and reducing conventional personal care products with synthetic fragrances and parabens. The article notes that natural progesterone helps restore balance when estrogen and stress signals dominate. Address cortisol. Chronically high cortisol keeps visceral fat active and your system in survival mode. The article's daily levers include slow, deep breathing, early morning sunlight to reset rhythm, and including healthy carbohydrates with meals to stabilize energy. Everyday pleasures such as time with pets or enjoyable activities help lower cortisol. Natural progesterone is identified as supportive for blocking harmful cortisol effects. Rebuild consistency. The article emphasizes rhythm, eat meals at steady times, get morning sunlight to anchor circadian function, and avoid alcohol because it harms mitochondria, spikes cortisol, and inflames visceral fat. These repeated choices retrain your metabolism toward calmer fat activity and steadier energy. If you're looking for concrete food direction, the article provides both expanded avoid and include lists. Avoid industrial seed, vegetable oils, olive oil, chia, common nuts and seeds, raw vegetables typically eaten uncooked, 
avocados, fatty fish, store-bought baked goods, conventional chicken and pork from high PUFA diets, nut and seed butters, dairy alternatives, alcohol, lean muscle meats without collagen balance, flax products, soy products, hummus and chickpeas, veggie burgers and plant-based substitutes, and daily or excessive beans, where's legumes? Foods to include for metabolic support are butter and ghee, eggs, tallow, dairy fat such as raw cheese or raw milk, coconut oil, dark chocolate, bone broth, collagen or gelatin, ground beef or bison, gelatinous meat cuts like beef shank, cheek, oxtail, pork hock or shank, leg of lamb, and chicken gizzards, well-cooked vegetables, in-season ripe fruit, white rice, masa harina, sourdough bread, occasional well-cooked beans, maple syrup, honey, organic orange juice, quality lemonade, organic grape juice, well-cooked peeled potatoes and sweet potatoes, beets, turnips, and quality cassava flour. Understanding matters because better tools are coming. The article points to advances like AI-assisted image analysis that may help track fat metabolism more precisely, offering earlier warning of relapse or better tailoring of treatments by monitoring how your visceral fat behaves over time. It also highlights ongoing research into how fat activity intersects with circulating cytokines, hormones, and tumor genetics. That could enable strategies that target fat behavior directly, treating it not as passive storage but as a metabolic participant you can influence. If you're not overweight, you're not automatically safe. The article is explicit that there's no strong correlation between visceral fat volume and metabolic activity. Moderately sized but hyperactive fat still creates risk. That's why the recommendations focus on calming fat biochemistry, not chasing the scale. Bringing this together, the path is consistent. Remove seed oils, use the right carbohydrates to power mitochondria and settle the gut, reduce endocrine disruptors, lower cortisol with daily cues of safety and regular energy supply, avoid alcohol, and keep steady routines that tell your metabolism it's safe to function well again. Here's your challenge from the article's guidance. For the next four weeks, eliminate seed oils entirely. Build your meals from the foods to include list. Aim for about 250 grams of easy to digest carbohydrates per day. Get morning sunlight daily and keep meal times consistent. Reduce plastic contact with food, skip alcohol, and include at least one gelatin rich cut or collagen source most days. Track how digestion, energy, and waste comfort change as your visceral fat activity quiets. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.